Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is really not a Corel video, but I want to keep it in my name of the same thing so you can follow along. I individually painted this layered art. The bottom is brown. Uh, looking back at it now, I wish I would have used some, maybe some brighter colors. I went from a dark blue to green to a real light blue on top. It came out really good. It, um... Like I said, I do a few things different, but I thought I'd share, and I actually think it looks better uh, just in raw wood. And so you could do it in raw wood and not paint it, uh, just your personal preference. But I thought I'd show it how I do it. I'm a, I've been doing woodworking all my life, and it's hard to glue. And in my previous video, I showed a, a glue-up jig that I made, so you need to watch that, and that's kind of why I named it a Corel video. This little brush is a roller. It's a glue roller. You could get it at Woodcraft or Woodcraft.com. And what basically what I did, I used a piece of glass. And I spread out some glue and I just ran it back and forth, both directions. Kind of get like a, because you don't want too much glue. Because if you get too much glue, it's going to get on the edges and run out. And then I just rolled over it. And then I started on the bottom. Uh, well, I put the bottom layer in the very bottom without any glue on it, and then I got the next layer, brought it on the glue, set it down, moved it just a little bit, and then put it in the glue jig. And if you don't know what the glue jig is, uh, just watch maybe number five of this part. This is part six. You could do that with the raw wood, and if I do them again, I'm going to just do it with the raw wood. It would save you some time, and I actually think it looks better um, personally. It looks, I don't know, you can just see it better. Uh, this is exactly the same, but it just, I mean, it's the same piece. It just looks better uh, to me anyway, but you can give that a try. And then I just put a weight on it. And this is the piece that I cut out of the glue jig. I had an extra one. So I just did it to distri uh, distribute the weight. Because you don't want very much glue. It only takes about uh, 20, 30 minutes to dry hard enough where you can take it out of there and, and look at it. But anyway, give that a try, and I'm going to make one more video. I've made a video on how to make these, and I'm, I've uh, made some easier steps. So I'm going to show that in the next video. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.